Hey, hi you guys, it's Coach Jen here. It is Jacked Up Treats with Jen. And today we are making a um, banana oatmeal breakfast cooking. So, your ingredients, which I will show you. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not good at all this. So, you need two bananas oatmeal and while I'm talking to you what you need I'm going to start peeling my bananas um oatmeal you need both the quick oats and the regular oats don't ask me why I don't know I'm not a chef I'm going to break my bananas and put them in bowl. clearly I need like a camera crew because you can't see what I'm doing you only see my face I don't know how to do that Bye guys. And then you can do the other one. And you're going to mush it all. Let's see. Maybe if I turn it, if I turn it a little bit more hand. A little better, maybe. I don't know. You're going to take your fork and you're going to start mushing up your bananas. How's everyone doing on this fine day? I wish like I was live so like I could talk to you guys and I could like, <laughs> you're actually talking to me while we're doing it. This is super easy, you guys. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you have flour. I don't have any flour. Well, I have like almond flour, but I don't have like regular flour. I know the stores are out of it. A lot of the stores are. So this is a super easy, quick um, treat, sweet tooth treat, without using any flour at all. The oatmeal, and I'll ask you the reason why you use the real oats and a and the um, quick oats is because the real oats have like um, kind of like a floury substance, which is going to soak up the banana. So you're gonna get your banana all smushed up. And you can use regular bananas or you can use yellow, like mine. Mine were yellow, they weren't like brown, but you totally could use brown. The more brown your bananas are, the sweeter, the sweeter it is. So. Your banana is going to look like that, all smushed up. You're going to add one cup of the quick oats, a half a cup of your old fashioned oats. You want to say good morning? Good morning, everyone. Oh, nice, Keegan. Then you're going to add, I use Lily's. <laughs> Oh, good, Jen. Stop. I'm gonna redo that. Oh, I like you, Jen. Sorry, I just squeezed you. But what I wanted to show you was uh, Lily's baking chocolate that my dog is eating, and it's no sugar. So we're gonna add. Um, I added a third cup. You could third half, whatever, however much chocolate you like. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. <laughs> Throw that in there. I am also going to add walnuts because I like walnuts. You can add whatever you want. So, like, you don't want to add the chocolate, don't add the chocolate. If you want walnuts and raisins, go ahead and add that. Um, add a little cinnamon, add a little vanilla, add whatever you guys want to it and how you see fit. Um, I was kind of keeping these basic. And you just want to keep mixing it until all the oats are wet. I have a huge sweet tooth. I'm really trying not to eat my whole house. Because you know, during this whole quarantine, we are in like received peanut butter egg season. And jelly beans, and anyone who knows me, Knows I like my beans, which I'm proud to say. I think I, I, I did eat it, I, but I've only had one bag, which is good. 
All right. So I think we're making this pretty, pretty good. So you just want everything to be wet. Like this. Ta-da! Oh, I told you I'm not going to do this. And the camera's on this side, and I keep looking at this side. My bad. Jody. Sorry. All right. Yeah, then so <laughs> you are going, I take a scoop because that's just me personally. I like using a scoop. These are not going to, um, they're not going to spread. So when you make them, like shape them while you um, make them in a circle and then I flatten them down because they're not going to flatten on their own. They're not going to spread. So I'm going to do a couple here. That way you can see it and then I'm going to bake them and we'll be back for a short recess break. Let me show you if you guys can see this or not. Can you guys see this? Oh shit, sugar. I don't know how to do this. They're all going to fall. Keegan, grab this one. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Could you be my cameraman, please? Just tilt it up or down. Can you see the Yeah, there we go. Like that. We just want them nice and flat. And then we're going to them. I'm going to finish doing this and we'll be right back. And we're back. So they cook at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. I did 15 minutes. I always do my baking on parchment paper, but you can use flat mat or grease your pan. Um, parchment paper is super easy. I don't like to, then you don't have to clean the pan, you just throw the parchment paper out. So here's the parchment paper. Like, and then just kidding. I'm not eating any. I'm not eating any. Anyway, enjoy you guys. If you make them, make them, and then maybe you know, put a little picture of your homemade baked goods. Oh, maybe. Yeah, post a picture of your recipe underneath this in the comments but i do want you to know that they are good i don't want you to think that i poisoned them and when you <laughs> myself i swear they're good have a great day you guys bye bye